Hello and good morning from a breezy but hot Benoni, South Africa. Kenya taking on Cameroon. Kenya have one win, one loss. Cameroon have lost two. They'll be looking to get uh, the, put their best foot forward. Today, Cameroon versus Kenya to start with. Of all the mornings, this has probably been the most wind that we have experienced. The warm sun, it's not as warm as we've had before, but uh, that will play a role in terms of drying this pitch out, this strong wind that we're having. If I was a captain looking to bowl first, I think this is an ideal opportunity to get a bit of movement. And for the spinners, if I just look at where they would be pitching the ball, we've had more bounce than turn. But by and large, I have to say, once it's got a bit of sun, come day two, come day three, even this afternoon, it should still be good for batting. Let's go. Heads. Heads is a call. And it's a tail. Kenya has won the toss. We're going to ball fast. Okay. We're going to ball fast. So the news from the middle is Kenya have won the toss and decided to bowl first. That's the lineup for the Kenyans. A couple of changes. Yeah, Raket Patel is the man in form there. Very good 47 in the previous match. In the losing cause it was, of course. And the second highest run scorer in the tournament thus far. So umpire about to call play. Good start. Yeah, on the back foot. First boundary. Yeah, this is a, a shortish delivery, but he's standing slightly outside his crease. Through the gap. Four. Good shot. Short. Cut away. Bruno. Shot, shot of the morning. Well played. Slightly quicker from Gerard. Stands tall. Yay! Yay! Yeah, the finger goes up. So he gets the break, and I think deservedly so, because he's been uh, the star with the ball. A wonderful inclusion this morning into the Keenan attack. That one's up. Keeper's got it. Yes. So, two in two. And uh, just when we thought they had got off to a good start. Thick, thick edge here. And uh, this is going to run away. Okay, he's hit this high. And it's going to land in the gap. It will be a couple. In the past, we had a guy like Fred Schultz, but for now, this is a boundary. And asked him to play straight, Daryl, and that's a that's a beautiful stroke. This would be such good advice for Cameroon to, first of all, look to do more of that, but play to their ability. Bowled him, and that's the result. One too many, far too easy here for Yash. Too full, too far away from the ball. His head position too far back. I'm sure he'll pick it up quickly. Catch to slip. Not near the pitch of the ball. A bolt. A really, an, um, really an exciting prospect. Loopy catch, easy as you like. He almost made a mess of it. <laughs> In the end, it tucked him up. Ten of his ball, 33 for five. Yay! Yay! Knee behind the stumps. Erfan. Side on view, beautiful flight. Drags his foot forward. Does he get it down in time? No, he doesn't. That's a lovely piece of stumping. Just as the foot was in the air. And Cameroon lose their fourth wicket on 33. Past the inside edge, there's a stumping, and he seems confident uh, because the finger's up at square leg. Well, just talking about how beautifully he's drifted the ball, flighted it, gets the ball to turn, and once again draws him onto the front foot. Preparation. Who are you playing against? What you're learning and taking out of that. As his leg stump goes for a walk down Benoni. That's the eighth, 38 for eight. That's a wise call because he is getting turned, drift and turned. This is too high down the leg side. Extras uh, will soon be the top scorer. And they'll run away for, by, for wides. 
Kill him. Beautiful use of the crease here by Shem. Really, he's a quality left arm spinner, he's the captain of Kenya. Hits the top of the leg stump. Drill down the ground. And they pick up two, they can they pick up two. Yeah, perhaps the ball should have been behind the stumps there. Well, not the best of throws. Should he have been behind the stumps? There's the confirmation from the umpire. They need 49 of just 120. And I reckon uh, if they can do this in six overs, and that's the scorecard. Nseke Bruno at the top of the order, and would you believe he was actually the sixth batsman out? Out for 14, and uh, the rest of it, well, as they used to say in the old days, all of the telephone numbers. But here's the bowling efforts. Mutuwi, Bundi, Ndandasin, but it was Yesh Talati, Shem Goche, who were the chief destroyers for Kenya, picking up three wickets apiece. Target of 49 required. As he runs in now, and it's the short delivery outside the off stump, and he's played this with a plumber. Magnificent forcing shot of the backward. Oh, he's got the edge to this. It's running away over the top. It's going to beat the field and it's two fours of the two deliveries. It's on the facilities um, right now and we look forward. So Sakdeep helps himself to a short delivery outside the off stump. Much too short, too wide and uh, the rather tall batsman dispatches this disdainfully for four. Four more runs. That is beautifully played. Cricket falls 27 for one after two. Suck deep has uh, played a beautiful little swivel stroke and he's helped it over long leg for six. And he's helped himself to his first maximum. Wonderful of this great game. This is beautifully clipped and the wonderful response from uh, the opener. And uh, just uh, nine runs away from uh, a victory. And so for them now going forward, it's about that run rate, how impressively they can win. And this is a glorious cricket shot. Beautiful sign on pictures, graphically captured by our cameraman. Had the pleasure of Lawrence Mantlana yesterday. Is this punched off the back foot in the fourth over Kenya register? The first win of this Africa T20 Cup. Handshakes all around. There'll be plenty of disappointment in that uh, Cameroonian side as we wrap up match number nine of this Africa T20 Cup. Kenya winning by nine wickets. Rubishan Patel, 14 of six. Sukhdip Singh, 26 of 11. Nahim Gotche, 7 of 3. Excellent performance. Two wickets from Tseke Bruno. Just the one from Abega. And the winning runs being scored off uh, Loic's second ball of his opening over. Cameroon batting first. Only but 48 runs in their innings. Bruno, the Lone Ranger, with just the 14 runs. But the damage, it was Yash, Shem and Lucas. The spin option for Kenya. And in reply, with the greatest of ease, comfortably in the fourth over, Kenya winning by nine wickets.